We continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Vav Amid Beis in Maseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf Thirty Six B. The Gemara says, "Iboy Luhu." They had the following question: Hatorah Mishalo Al Shel Chaver. Let's say a person takes off truma from his produce on the produce of his friend. Tzarech Daito Olo. Does he need his knowledge or not? Mi Amrinon? Do we say Kevin does Chusulo? Since this is a benefit for him, so Lo Tzarech Das. So you don't even need to have that he's aware that you're doing that. Odilmar Maybe Mitzvah Dilehi. It's really his mitzvah. Venichalei Lo. After he would rather do the mitzvah. He doesn't want someone else to do the mitzvah on his behalf. The Mefarish over here says, Since it's a benefit for him, He doesn't need to now give from his own property because someone else is doing it. So So then we could say it doesn't require the knowledge of the person. You can give a merit to somebody, even not in front of him. Or maybe we'll say no. Since it's his mitzvah, the Balakri wants to do the mitzvah. Shekayim who is a mitzvah? Lefikach tzarech shiodio. Therefore, you have to let him know you cannot do it without his knowledge. And the Gemara continues. Tashma, come in here a proof to this question from our Mishnah. The Mishnah says Torah mas trumosa v'yes masrosa. In the case of a mudr hanah, so the person who's not supposed to give the benefit is allowed to take off his truma and is allowed to take off his ma'aser ledaito as long as it's with his knowledge. And so the Gemara now says b'mayaskin. And what exactly is the case over here in our Mishnah? Ilema min bal hakri al shel bal hakri. If the case is that the person is taking off from the owner of the produce's own property for his own property. Uledaito deman, and with whose knowledge? What does the Mishnah mean when it says it has to be with his knowledge? Ilema uledaito delay, if it means to be with his own knowledge, meaning the person taking off the truma is just doing it on his own. So man shav yashliach, so no, who made him a shliach? How can you go into somebody else's property and take off truma for them if you weren't made a shliach? El uledaito de bal hakri, but then you're going to say rather, it was according to the knowledge of the bal hakri. The bal hakri actually made the person a shliach to take Take off the truma on his behalf, but then hakamahanile. But then he is benefiting him to kavod shlichuse. He's doing a shlichus on his behalf. So why should that be allowed? The Mishnah says he's allowed to do it, but he can't be a shliach for somebody he's not not allowed to give benefit to. So el mishalo al shalakri. Rather, the Gemara says you have to say that the Mishnah means he's taking off from his own produce on the produce of the owner of the pile of fruit. Uladaito deman. And again, according to whose knowledge is he doing it? With whose knowledge does the Mishnah mean he's doing it? Ilay maladaito de bal hakri. If you're going to say he's doing it with the knowledge of the owner of the produce. So again, Hakamahanile, isn't he benefiting him by taking off truma for him? Elalav, rather, does it not mean Ladaiti Dinafsha is doing it on his own without the knowledge of the Balakri. Umishalot Torim al Shal Khaver apparently is taking off from his own property on the uh, on the on the fruits of his friend. Viamrit Sarah Das. Now if you say that Das is required, again we're back to the same question. Hakamahanile, isn't he benefiting him? So it must be Elalav, rather is it not? Ain Sarah Das. It must be there's no requirement requirement of Das Bailam. He's just taking off Truma from his produce on the other person's produce, and that's not considered a benefit. As the Mefarish over here says, El Alav Ein Sarach Das, Ulahachi Torim Alav. Since no Das is required, that's why he's allowed to take off the Truma for him. Dekeven Shatorim Alav, Shalom Midait Olam Hani Leiklal. Since he's taking off Truma without even the person's knowledge, so that's not considered to be a benefit at all. And so the Gemara answers, Liola Michel Balakri Al Balakri. Actually, what the mission is talking about is you're taking off from the Bal Hakri's produce on behalf of the Bal Hakri's produce. He's not actually using his own produce. Kidama Rav and the Mishnah follows what Rava said because Rava said, but Omer, the case is when the person says, the owner of the Kri says, call her Rotsalitrum Yavo Yuviyitrum. Anyone who wants to come and take off Truma from my property for my property can do so. Hachanami Bomer Vechulu. So to over here, that is the case. The Mefarish over here explains, Leola Michel Bal Hakri Mairi, Uledaito de Bal Hakri. It's all being done with the knowledge of the Bal but you, you asked before, isn't this a problem? He's giving him benefit because he's doing the shlichus of the Baal HaKri Vitarim, and he's taking off this truma. Why is he allowed to give benefit if it's a case of Mudar Hana? And the Mefarish explains the answer, Bomer Kolarot Zalitrom Yavo Viyitrom. The, the Baal HaKri said, whoever wants to come and take off Truma can do it. Since he didn't make this guy more of a shliach than anybody else, anyone can come in and take off this Truma just like him. That's not considered a benefit. If this guy doesn't do it, someone else will do it. Therefore, you can't learn anything from our Mishnah. And the Gemara continues, Boy mine Rabbi Yirmiya me Rabbi Zeira. Rabbi Yirmiya asks Rabbi Zeira the following question. Let's say a person takes off Truma from his own produce on behalf of his friend. 
Tovas Hana shall me. So who gets the Tovas Hana? The Tovas Hana refers to who gets to choose which Kohen to give it to. The Mefarish over here explains Tovas Hana me shall me means to say, Osa Pruta Shiyachu the Kaval me Yisrael Acher Kedei Litna Leven Bito Kohen. Let's say you can get a Pruta from a Yisrael in order to give it to that Yisrael's grandson who happens to be a Kohen. Let's say it's the son of his daughter who happens to be a Kohen, me shall me he. So in other words, there's a certain benefit you get from choosing the Kohen. You can even get paid from choosing a particular Kohen by that Kohen. Kohen's grandfather. And so therefore, that's what the Gemara is asking. That's what Rabbi Yirmi is asking. Who's the one that gets to choose which Kohen to give it to? Mi Amrinon, do we say, Ilav piri dehech If not for the fruits of this guy, so there wouldn't have been a tikkun of this pile of fruit. In other words, the person giving the truma is really fixing the entire pile. And therefore, the person who separated the truma, he's the one that should get to choose which Kohen to give it to. O Dilmor, maybe, Ilav kar If not for the Kri, if not for the entire pile of grain, so lo havyon piri so this stuff would never be truma. The truma has to be separated on some kind of pile of grain. And so therefore it's the owner of the grain who really has the discretionary benefit of this truma. And so the Gemara says, Amar Lei, so he said back to him, Rabbi Zeira said back to Rabbi Yirmiya, Amar Kra, the Pasuk says, it's called Tvua Sarecho Vin It says, all of the Tvua of your seed and you will give it. And the Mefarish over here explains, it's called Tvua Sarecho Vin Asato, Shmami not Debal Hakrihi. You see that it's Zarecho, it's the person who owns the pile of grain. Tovas Ana, he's the one that gets the discretionary benefit. Minichsiv Zarecho Vin it says Zarecho Vin And therefore you see again, it is the Bal Hakri. And so the Gemara continues, Ace, we have a question on this. Again, our Mishnah said that even if you're not allowed to give benefit from, to, to somebody because it's a case of Mudar Hana, but you're allowed to take off the Truma and the Miser if it's with his knowledge. And so the Gemara now assumes that it's exactly this case where the person is taking off the Truma again from his own produce on behalf of the other person's produce. So Now, if you're going to say that the, the discretionary benefit goes to the owner of the Kri, so then he really is getting a benefit. So now by separating Truma, you're giving him this benefit, you're giving him this discretionary benefit that he can choose which Kohen to give it to. Elushmamina, rather, don't you see from our Mishnah, Tovas Hana delay, that the Tovas Hana really belongs to the person separating the Truma and doesn't go to the Balakri. And the Gemara says, Amri, they answer, and this is similar to the answer we gave, uh, we gave above, Lo, no, Mishal Balakri, Al Shal Balakri. The case of our Mishnah has nothing to do with this question, because in the case of the Mishnah, the person is taking off the Truma from the produce of the Bal Hakri, and the produce of the Bal Hakri, Uledaito de Bal Hakri, and it's all with the knowledge of the Bal Hakri, as the Gemara said before, Biomer Kolarotza Litrom, Yavoviyitrom. The cases where the Bal Hakri said, whoever wants to come and take off Truma and my produce is able to do so. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come and hear a proof to Rabbi Yirmiya's question. The Yom Rabbi Yavo, Yom Rabbi Yochanan, because Rabbi Yavo said that Rabbi Yochanan said, HaMakdash Mosef Chomesh, the person who's Makdash an animal, let's say the animal gets a blemish and he redeems it, it's the Makdash who's the one that has to add the fifth. Umeschaper Osa Tamura, and the person who's getting the Kapara from the animal, he's the one that can make a Tamura from the animal. The Tamura is when you take another animal and give it the same Kedusha as the first animal. V'atorim Mishalo al Sheino Shalo, and if somebody takes off Truma, from his produce on produce that is not his, tovas hanosha lo, the discretionary benefit, it goes to the person taking off the truma, and that is the answer to Rabbi Yirmiyah's question. And the Mefarish over here explains, HaMakdish Shepodes Hekdesho. Again, if the person is redeeming the Hekdish, it's the person who was Makdish, who sanctified the animal. He's the one that's Mosef Chomesh. He's the one that has to add the fifth. V'lo Adamacher, not a different person. Kedechsivim HaMakdish Yigalas Beso, like the Pasuk itself says, if the Makdish is going to redeem his house. But the person who's getting the Kapara, he's the one that makes Tamura. Meaning to say, HaMafresh Karbon Liftor Chovaso Shel Chavero. Case would be, let's say one person separates the carbon in order to patter the obligation of his friend. In other words, the person is makdish an animal for the, for somebody else's benefit. So then hamischaper, the person who's getting the kapara, he's like the owner of the carbon. Osa tamura, he's the one that makes tamura but also carbon with that carbon. In other words, even though it's the makdish who's the one who redeems it and adds a fifth, but it's the mischaper who makes tamura. The hash to have a diday because the carbon, the animal, really now belongs to him, not to the one who separated the the animal. To meachar shehifresh litzarcho kano hamischaper because once it was already separated for that guy's benefit, so now the mischaper, he's the one who really owns it. V'atorim tovas hanashalo, shall torim again, the person who takes off the truma, he's the one that gets that discretionary benefit.
And the Gemara continues that the two dots, the Mishnah said, Melamdo medrish halachos v'agodos. If a person is a case of a mudr hano, so the person who's not supposed to give benefit could still teach him medrish and halach and agodah. Avalo yilamdenu mikra, but he can't teach him sukkim. And the Gemara says, Mikra my time alo yilamden. And what's the reason why he can't teach him sukkim? Misham de kamahani le, because that's considered a benefit that he's giving to him. So medrish naami kamahani le. So medrish also, isn't he giving him a benefit? And the Gemara says, Amar Shmuel says, Shmuel, b'makom shenot l'nschar la mikra. We're talking about in a place where people get paid to teach mikra, so that's considered a benefit. V'yenot l'nschar la medrish. But it's a place where they don't take schar, they don't take payment for teaching medrish. And the Gemara says, my piska. Why was this halacha stated without any qualification if there's no fundamental difference between Mikra and Medrash? It just goes by the Minog HaMokom, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daflamid Zayin Omid Aleph.